wrong with you? I love math. Was to uh, <coughs> calculate the sum and difference and also get the restrictions. And I recognize that in this problem that this expression has an x minus 1, which is the pink. And I essentially need to get a pink for every single one of these. So let's write that out. Here's my pink, x minus 1 over x minus 1. This one is 1 over x minus 4. And did you guys notice how I use parentheses around binomials? <coughs> The second term has a negative, you're going to have the pink, orange, and yellow, so pink is x minus 1, x plus 2, and yellow is x minus 4, and essentially you're going to multiply the x after you multiply the pink, which is x minus 1 and the yellow, which is x minus 4. And then positive x squared times the yellow, which is x minus 4, and the orange, which is x plus 2. So x minus 1, x minus 4, x plus 2. Off. Okay, let me multiply, uh, let me do the middle one because I think it's the most difficult one. I'm going to multiply. So, how do you know when to do a box? The answer is when you are multiplying binomials, two terms times two terms, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, x minus 1, x minus 4. I'm going to multiply uh, on the first, so x times x is what? Okay, and I have a minus, <coughs> let me do that in red. You still have that x, so negative x, so I'm going to have x squared. Combine those. What do you get when you add those together? and plus 4. <laughs> and so you're going to have to do the same thing on the left side, right? You're going to have to do a box here. Let's hope you color code this and then you can do this, give you some time to do it on your own. You're going to do a box because there's two, two sets of parentheses, two binomials. Now this problem, you're going to have to do your box first and then multiply by x squared. Class, what do you do first? And then you what? Multiply by x squared. And then you'll put your answers here for the purple, here for the green, and then don't forget you're going to distribute a positive x squared. Let me pull out my cards. It sounds weird, but you'll miss these. Leslie L. Purple or green? Green. Green? What'd you write on the L side? X minus four. Yes.
Les, it doesn't matter uh, what I put on the side or the top here. Can I have switched it? Yeah. Lastly, go ahead and multiply. X2. 2x. Good. Negative 4x. Good. Negative 8. Good. Okay, now you need to combine like terms what's in the inside of the green box. You do it. What can we combine? Good. Good. Raise your hand if you got that so far. Hania, you got purple. What goes on the L sign? Yep. Yes. Go ahead and multiply. Two x negative what? Huh? Two. 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 Okay. Combine like terms. What's on the inside? Can I combine anything with x squared? No. Can I combine two x with anything? And what do you get? Positive or negative? Yeah. And then minus 2. Essentially what it is, it's being distributed by the 1, but I'll just write that for now for purposes so you can see that <coughs> if that changed to an x or a 3, then you still have to distribute that. Okay? All right. Now they all have the same fraction, right? So now I have x plus 2 x minus 1, x minus 4. <laughs> Class, does the order matter? No. Should you multiply? No. Leave it in those parentheses. Okay, we now need to distribute this negative. So I'm going to keep this one, x squared plus 1x minus 2. We're going to distribute that one, okay? Jasmine. Negative x times x squared. Alright, so I'm going to multiply the numbers in front. So I have a negative 1 and a positive 1. So negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. x times x squared? Yeah, x cubed. Negative 1x times negative 5x? because there's two of them. x times x is xx or x squared. Negative 1x times 4? Yep. Ariana, let's go ahead and distribute over here. x squared times x squared? x to the what? So when we're multiplying the same base, you add the exponents. So that'll just become what? x to the fourth. x squared times negative 2x? Negative. Good. x what? x to the, because that's a 1. So 2 plus 1 is 3. 
and Ariana x squared times negative 8. Good. Almost there. That's all over x plus 2, x minus 1, x minus 4. Okay, we just now need to combine like terms. Juan, does x to the fourth have any like terms? No. Correct? Uh, can I combine negative 2x third with anything? What am I going to combine it with, Juan? And when you combine them, what do you get? Negative 1 minus 2? Negative 3. Juan, should I get x to the 6 or x to the 3rd? When we are adding or subtracting or combining like terms, you just add the numbers in front. The exponents stay the same. In the previous problem here, Ariana had to change the exponents because you are multiplying. Do you guys see the difference? Um, Juan, can I change... Uh, i trying to figure out what shape I want to do. Juan, can I combine negative uh, 8x squared with anything? Yeah. What can I combine? 5x squared and... Yeah, 1x squared. What do you get? Yep, correct. Ran out of shapes. Let's do a spade. One, one minus four. And then this one doesn't have anything. I'll call it a club. Minus two. Whew. And that's all over x plus 2, x minus 1, x minus 4. Whew. Let's double check. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's it. You did? What? We did the math. X minus 4. Okay, good news. That's the answer. Can't factor it again. But we got to do one more step. The restrictions. X can't be what numbers, class? Remember, it can't be negative 2 because negative 2 plus 2 is what? 0. 0 times anything is 0. Dividing anything by zero is undefined. That's what the restriction is saying. Don't pick that number. That means that number can't be what? One. And this number can't be four. We've been finding that previously by just setting that not equal to zero. Yay!